Welcome to Wolfie and Chill, the show where we sit down with a cup of tea and we play a game. Kind of like every other day. But no, a lot of you have been asking me to do a Wolfie and Chill on PvZ2, so I thought I'd get to that today. I want to see if I can actually finish Ancient Egypt. We've got a few levels left, but I would like to see if I can actually get to the end of it. A couple more plants to get. I have no idea what this is. Oh, Sun Boost. Start with 25 extra sun in the bank. I mean, I guess so. Cool. All right, so level 18 we're on. So this first level is effectively Last Stand. I'm not allowed sunflower. I'm not allowed iceberg lettuce. What is that? I've got limited sun and I basically have to plan my defense and just do it that way. Right, okay. Well, I'm probably going to have to just bring everything because I don't... I need to fill up the slot, so I'll just bring everything and then... Are you going to let me actually set it up before you... Okay, good. So they let me do it. Okay, so I can chill. Yeah, I was trying out that luck of the zombie, the event they've got at the moment. Is this supposed to be that hard? Because I was kind of getting my ass kicked a little bit. I don't know if I was just not doing it well, or if that's actually a taste of what's to come in terms of how difficult the game's going to get. I'm going to go bonk choice, I think. It doesn't really help that I've got all these gravestones, but what I can do for the moment is I can stick Johnny's in front of these ones, and then I'll let him Ronda Rousey this gravestone, and then I can put another one there once he's done that. So let's actually, let's start with this, and then I'll kind of take it from there. The rude sandstorm coming in straight away? Okay. I honestly feel like this this would be enough. I really do. I know there's a lot more that I could put there, but I don't feel like I need to, really. I think I might be okay. Let's just see if this can handle it. Let's see if this can handle it. Lots of camel ones coming in. Has there, has, there, has there ever been one that's like six long? Because that could be a first. Um. Hmm. What I want to see is I want to see if when they get up to the Johnny, is the Bonk Choi just going to kind of dispatch them quite quickly? That's what I want to kind of test out. I mean, he's just kind of standing there at the moment. I don't know why. Okay. Seems to be dealing with it okay. It looks a little bit like I'm getting overwhelmed, but I'm not sure that I am. I think I'm o I think I am handling it. Let me plant food this cabbage bolt. Alright, that didn't do shit. <laughs> Just cracked the boards a little bit. Not that helpful. But yeah, like I said, this is the first Wolfie and Chill we're doing on this game. Might be the first of many. Like I said, this is probably going to be quite a long game. So if you do enjoy it and you want to see me do more of these in the future, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'm trying to hit 300k by the end of the year. Just thought I'd point that out like I do virtually every day. Right. Honestly, I think we've got this in hand. Like, I really... We're not struggling that much. I'm going to go for the second plant food. I was low-key hoping that I could destroy those gravestones so I could put more stuff there, but no such luck. And they don't let me bring the grave buster, so there goes that plan. We might be okay, though. They haven't managed to break through any of the Johnnies. I just I just kind of kick back and see if see if they can handle it really. I've so far been given no reason to be concerned, and anything, even if they get through, I've got the lawn mowers, so maybe the lesson to be learned sometimes is it's okay to use the lawn mowers because I feel like a lot of the time I'm so hell bent on trying to not let them get to the lawn mowers, and it's like sometimes you probably could, like if need be, you probably could let them get to that. Sure, you can just head off. I think we're fine. I think we got this. This camel's missing its head up top. I actually get the air conditioning on. It's kind of hot in here. It's on 24 degrees. Yeah, that's not air conditioning. That is a sauna box. Let's turn that down. That's much better. I don't know why. It's really humid today. A bit weird for March.
So my basic ass defense was enough. It actually had it pretty well in hand, as it goes. Alright, cool. We take those. Not bad at all. Some money. Is it after the next level that I get repeater? Because the thing is, you know how much I like repeater, but people have been telling well, me... The thing is, people have been telling me he's it's not that he's bad, but... Because there's so many other plants in this game, he gets outclassed quite easily, is what I've been told. But I, I could probably still get away with using him. At least for a while. One level left until we get him. Next level. No ad. Don't you do it. Don't you... I... Never have more than 16 plants. Survive without planting on day... Oh, for God's sake. This again. I had one of these. Like, it's not bad enough that I got sent this far back in time just so we could eat a taco. Now I can't even play the game properly. Well, at least I can bring sunflower and iceberg lettuce again. See, honestly, I like my setup. I really, I really do. I like my setup the way it is. It really works. So I'm just going to kind of... More of the same. Let's do it. Just means I have to move everything up a couple of layers. And I'm okay with that. So I start with 50 sun, and when I get that next trophy, then it just goes up to 75. Yeah. Worth. Which lane? That one? Got you. Got you, dude. Just do it little piece at a time. Hang on. I want that sun. I want that sun. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give no, he's trying to take it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You just relax. Right, let's see. It's a plant food guy. Want that. I could probably get more sunflowers in to be fair, but I feel like I'll be I'll be a basic bitch and I'll just go with the linear setup. Thank you. I do. Get bonk choy there. The cone head. I wonder what the boss wave's gonna be when we actually. What's that do without the top? As I was gonna say, I wonder what the boss wave is gonna be when we get to that. I'm guessing more gargantuas, because Lord knows you can never get enough of them. Especially in the first world. Do that as well, in anticipation of late bucket head. I'm just interested to see what the rest of the worlds have to offer. Like, there's so many different worlds. And I wonder how kind of creative the zombies are going to get. Because, I mean, I noticed just playing through the the luck of the zombie event. Like, some of the shit you see in there already is like... There was flipping disco zombies with jetpacks. There was, like, mechs. Like, multiple different kinds of mechs. It was mad. Like, there was so much weird shit that I've never seen before. Wait, why can't I? Oh, never have any more than 16 plants. No, I forgot. I like the way I just instantly forget the gimmick of the level. Well, that's fine. I can, uh... I can just plant food. Plant food. That's not who I meant to use plant food on, but whatever. Almost got it. Yes, no, no, yes, no. That's it. Sure you can. He's out of here. Give me my repeater. Thank you very much. Now we're in business. He's probably not going to do shit. Cool. Shoot two peas at the enemy. Next. Let's keep it going. Oh, another one of these ones. Survive and protect the endangered plants. Well, I think my general rule of thumb for these ones is get Bonk Choy in front of the... Uh... I see now, I can already upgrade the repeater, so you know what time it is. We're starting with a level 2 repeater. You love to see it. Okay, so we definitely want to bring him Bonk Choy. The usual suspects. I'll still, I'll still bring, mm, oh, I don't know. 
Don't know, it's a tough one. All right, repeater. Let's see what let's see what you're made of. I'm going to leave cabbage bolt. Let's see if you've got the stuff. Let's see if you got the sauce. That's it. Give me that sun straight away. I'll just be getting them bonk choice in front of that. I'll play more sunflowers in the back. Putting some faith in you here, repeater. Don't let me down. Should be okay though. Having them four endangered ones there means I'm starting off with extra, so I can get the I can get the uh, the bodyguards down pretty quick. Unlike this guy, all he's getting is a body bag. Whoop! That's it. Take him out. All right, I think that'll probably be enough sunflowers. I think. The protection squad is here. Now we can start getting some repeaters down. I'll hold off and wait and see what the lane they uh, come in. So I know where I have to go and mop it up. Let's stick him in the middle lane. Like here. There you go. What are you saying in this game, repeater? I mean, he killed him pretty quick, to be fair. Like, people telling me repeat is trash. I don't know. He, he, he kind of dealt with that quite quickly. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Some plant food. Oh, God. Your repeat is all along the back. And then I'll maybe start putting some Johnnies down. While... Well, Stopping the sun abductors. Let's go. Let's get a second repeater in the middle. I'll write this out. Just because I feel like I never use the damn thing, use iceberg layers. Go ahead. I simp for this thing so much and bring it every single time and then half the time I never ever use it. So <laughs> I feel kind of like at what point is it going to be like why am I even bringing the thing in the first place? I'm definitely going to use it on Buckethead for sure. You can get Iceberg Lettuce. That's it. But I'm going to put a third repeater there because I can. He recharges hella quick actually. He, I think he recharged pretty quick in the first game as well. That was always one of the things I liked about Repeater. And Torchwood, actually. Torchwood was... What happens if I... You know I've got to try plant fooding the pea gatling The pea gatling The repeater. He's probably going to turn into a pea gatling Let's try. Holy Jesus. Oh, he's charging. What was that? So he does the same thing the normal pea does, but on steroids, and then he spits out some massive pea at the end. If anything even survives to get hit by it. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we tanked that one. Day 20 is on the shelf. Oh, that's a damn good cup of tea, if I say so myself. See, I love doing these kind of videos. I, f I feel like... See, the thing is... Everyone loves these ones so much, I feel like the commentary on them is just so awkward. Because I do things in a very particular way. And I can tell you uh, an interesting story, actually, about why it is. Oh, wait. Why have I got twin sunflower all of a sudden? Hello? I've got... What? This is... Th this isn't my shit. Hang on. Why have I got melon pulp and kernel pulp? I, I wasn't... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was about to start telling the story. I didn't even pay attention to what the flipping level is. Oh, man. Um, well, I mean, tits. That's cabbage pot, I guess. I need to get a twin sunflower down, though. I was going to say, some people have asked me why I kind of do my videos the way I do them, why I don't do all of my videos like this. Because, I mean, in theory, I probably should, because these videos are actually a lot easier to make, and these ones tend to get... Like, the feedback on these ones is sometimes even better than my normal stuff. But the thing is... Some of you know this just by kind of 
watching and some will know because I've mentioned it before, but I have a little thing. Uh, most countries, they call it Tourette's Syndrome, which I already know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, no wonder, no wonder he swears so much. Nah, like I, I wish I could blame it on that, but no, I just kind of, I just have kind of a foul mouth. I always have. <laughs> That's just potty mouth. That ain't the condition. No excuses for that. But it's not so much. It what it is is kind of. There are a lot of different things to it. There's a lot of different quirks that come with me having that, that I have to deal with, uh, including me not paying attention to what the hell's going on on my screen, so let me just deal with that. There's a lot of different quirks that I have to deal with. Uh, things such as... There are some things that are more minor, some things that are more major. The main thing, obviously, some people have noticed that I twitch like a motherfucker. Like, that's just something that... I can't, I can't really do much about that. It, a lot of it is... Generally fatigue and stress related so it can be sometimes better or worse depending on that like sometimes i'll barely do it at all sometimes i can't stop doing it but it's other things as well like there's a lot of there's a lot of verbal elements to it like i will have times where this is like something specifically that i feel like only people with Therese would understand anyone in the comments who actually does have it you can let me know do you ever find yourself you, like, say something, like, you say a sentence, and then it just itches your brain the wrong way. And then you have to, you feel the urge to repeat yourself, like, 20 different times until it kind of sounded right in your head. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if anyone actually kind of understands what I'm getting at when I say that. But I get it quite a lot, especially when it's bad. And, like... It comes out a lot when I record, which is why I've always preferred the... I think that's probably why when I started doing videos the way I did, I think the general name people came up with it was like cut commentary, like cut com. That's kind of what it was generally known as. I think that's probably why I took to doing those kind of videos so much and why it appealed to me so much, because it's kind of like a workaround, basically. Let me plant food this melon pole and see what the hell happens. Whoa! Bro, I need to get melon pole. What the shit? That was busted. Anyway, as I was saying, I think the reason that I took to doing videos like that so much was it was kind of a workaround. It was a way that I could... I don't know how... You, I don't even know how to word it. It, it. it was a way that I could kind of make videos more comfortably and not have to worry about all those little quirks. And I'm also not always the best person at coming up with just like random commentary on the spot. Sometimes it, t it takes me a minute to think of something. But I remember I used to go back and watch like some of my older videos and like, I used to hate them awkward silences where it's just like, oh, I'm trying to think of something to say and I can't think of anything to say. So I think, yeah, I could just, I could just cut out that silence. I mean, it's always been my kind of preference anyway. I'd rather, like, make a shorter video where I can keep people engaged for the whole time rather than a long, drawn-out video where it could be, like, 40 minutes long, but people might get bored after, like, seven, eight minutes. Survive without planting on... Oh, for God's sake. Never have more... Well, at least, they, at least they got the courtesy to increase my maximum number of plants each time. I don't know what the hell was the deal with that last level and why I had, like, melon pole and kernel pole and all that. I'm absolutely nowhere near... Get a melon pole. He's all the way down here. Finding Wild West. Where the hell is Wild West? When do I get that? Let me just have a think. Uh, this is another one of them ones where I'm limited on supply. So. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I mean, who the fuck was that? But I always just felt more comfortable doing it that way because it was kind of a workaround where I can feel comfortable making videos and don't have to worry about all those annoying little quirks. But when I do these, when I do these, I can't really help it. And that's also why I, I, I'll let you in on a little secret. That's, that's why I don't enjoy live streaming that much because I don't like the fact that everything has to be done basically in one take. I some, I like to do redos. What can I say? also realized that I've probably 
rambled on about this for the last like five minutes without really making much of a point. But yeah, there you go, some Wolfie Plays lore. Or Cameron Gaming lore, should I say. You ever wonder why I make videos with 10 billion jump cuts? And really annoying, fast-paced editing? It's because I'm weird. And it's kind of... It's how I get around my quirks, should I say. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just keep spud mining for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna set up repeaters instead of what you call it. So I'm gonna set up repeaters instead of cabbage bolts. I do still want to keep bonk choy because I do like my bonk choy. I, I will not tell a lie. Bonk choy is nice. So I'm allowed 18 this time. So that's enough for like three and a half, three and a half layers. That I can get on board with. All right. Well, I need to be careful about this bottom middle, though, because... At the moment, the grave's kind of sponging all my hits. So I kind of hope that I'm going to be able to actually get that in time. No, maybe, maybe, maybe... Yes, thank you, thank you. That was clutch. Um... See, that's why yeah, repeat is nice. One thing also I noticed about the butt plug guys, yes, that's what I'm calling them, is uh, when they take your son, when you then kill them, they give you back the son that they took. I never even noticed that before. Wouldn't have been a bad thing to pick up on. So what I'm thinking is we go bonk choy in every lane, and then I can get Johnny's in front of all the bonk choys as long as I bin off some of the sunflowers. That's the that's the play. I don't know how. I wasn't kind of just doing that anyway. But like, yeah, there you go. Thank you. I shall use that when I see fit. The setup's looking pretty good now. Let's get one of these uh, machine gun repeaters. I never really get a chance to see what that final P does because the Gatling just murders everything that comes before it. Let's go Johnny there because I can see Buckethead. More plant food. <laughs> More Zen Garden. I like how they're all just coming in for that lane where I've already got Johnny. I'm gonna... I see a sarcophagus. I'm gonna just... Dude just lasers it down. Straight up. Like, no fucking about, no nothing. This wasn't the final wave, was it? They haven't actually sent the final wave yet. You see, I could give you a good example. See, that story that I just told... Where I just kind of incoherently rambled for like five, six minutes. If I edited the damn video, I could have got that out in like... Like 40, 50 seconds. Rather than <laughs> six minutes. I don't know. Everyone has their own way of doing things. I need to lose some flowers here. At the end of the day, everyone's got their own way of doing stuff. You know. If you're a YouTuber, you're a, an aspiring creator, the be one of the best things you can do is, you know, find what works for you. You don't need to worry so much about what everyone else is doing. Find what works for you, find what you're comfortable with, what... Find what sort of things you'll bag, baby. And you'll be fine. Alright, we're done. I think we might actually get to the end of Ancient Egypt. Get in the bag. I... Do I get Twin Sunflower next? Am I going to want to use Twin Sunflower, though? Or am I going to want to just stick with... Oh, two more levels, okay. Am I going to want to use Twin Sunflower, or am I going to want to just stick with regular Sunflower? 
I don't really know. I still don't know if that's supposed to happen. Oh, we got Gargantua's back. God damn it. Okay, here we go. That's it. That's just the whole gimmick of this level. Hey, Gargantua's back. I feel a bit more confident, though, because I've got Repeater. And I feel like Repeater's plant food will probably laser him down, no problem. I have evolved since we last met, my friend. Built different these days. I'd like to think this time I can do a bit better than just mashing iceberg lettuce and waiting for waiting for one bloomerang to kill you. Joe, I put that air conditioning on like ten minutes ago. And it's not helping. I'm flipping liquefying in here. Probably didn't need to put that there. But we've got to clear the lane out sooner or later, so. I wonder if we should maybe get some more sunflowers in. Hmm. Yeah, go on, maybe I'll get a few more sunflowers in. Just for the time being, I can always get rid of them later, so. Put some more potato mines down. It just buys me time. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. So I did it like a millisecond before it recharged. I need an entire pop-up to be like... Go and sit on the naughty step. It's not recharged yet. Let me put that there. So we got repeaters in every lane. I could just keep these two rows of sunflowers now, couldn't I? Probably. Did he just run straight? What happened? He just... Okay, I don't know what the hell happened in that top lane, but some bullshit happened. Like, my sunflower got blown up along with the bonk choy that I put down. Something went down. I'm honestly just waiting for that. I'm just waiting for that gargantua. Like, you wait for it, mate. Whatever the weather, though, I am going to have to make sure that the lane that he comes in is clear. So. Bonk Choi would be helpful. Imagine if the Sandstorm brought him in. Imagine the Gargantua coming in and the rude Sandstorm. So this is a setup that kind of works. I've got three rounds of plant food. I will use all three of them on that Gargantua if I have to. Like, I'm not above that. Freeze him. Put that there. Oh, is it because he's holding a torch? It just... I don't, I don't know what happens, but he was holding a torch and it just flipping... Right. Gargantua's top lane. Ready? Plant food. That's it. Big hit. Go again. He's already... Wow, okay. And Repeater sucks, yeah? Repeater's trash. Like, are you... Are you sure? Are you sure he sucks? I mean, you'll know a lot more than I do, but... I mean, fuck it. He's getting the job done for the moment. He's getting it done for the moment. Come on, lads. We can make it to the end of this. Three grand. Tidy man. Potato might be a good one to upgrade, actually.
Apply on your defense and defeat. Okay, it's last stand. It's last stand. Alright, nothing too major. You know what I could do? I could just do two whole rows of repeaters and just be done with it. I'm not going to do that. Tell you what I am going to do. This is how we're playing it. They're actually letting me bring Iceberg Lettuce this time. I'm going to do the most basic thing you have ever seen anyone do in this game. Watch this. You ready for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I... Hold on. We're not done. I'm not done. <laughs> there we go. That's beautiful. In fact, you know what? Let me do a second row of those. And then I'll wait until that gravestone gets cleared out. This is the setup. This is the act. Get on board, mate. This is perfect. I don't see how they're going to get through that. Get my plant food as well. I think we've got this one nicely in hand. All that's missing is the symmetry. That's it. There we go. Now we just kick back, relax, and see if Bloomerang can get it done. Should probably plant food. Not really getting through the sarcophagus very quick. Did I make a very... Oh, I may have made a severe error here. He doesn't appear to be getting through the sarcophagus in a hurry. Ah. I might be okay just on the basis that I've got those two rows of Johnnies. I'm going to have to plant food this. Okay, I, I felt like such a smart ass when I, when I made this setup, and now <laughs> I'm not so sure. I mean, I still think going Bloomerang was probably a good shout, just because it is piercing damage, so I'm hitting all of them. It's just a question of whether or not it's going to hold. I'm just... I don't know if it's going to hold. They've already broken through one of them. Well, at least I got something for my Zen Garden. Thanks. I'm just going to have to be on it using the Iceberg Lettuce. I think that's, honestly, that's going to be the only way. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll just zap him. It's whatever. <laughs> I will stoop th to that level. I will stoopeth. Stoopeth thou. To spending money to win the game. You want any freezing or are we okay? Uh... I'm going to freeze you just to be on the safe side because I want to die. I mean, if you think about it, as long as I can survive until the final wave gets here, then it doesn't matter because lawnmowers will handle it. Here's the thing. I keep underestimating the lawnmower. I keep forgetting that it's there and that, you know, they will wipe out the whole field. So honestly, at this point, let me just chill. I'll go for... Yeah, I'll go ahead and use the last plant food. Whoa, okay. Easy, lads. Let's go. Sound like Crash Bandicoot spinning. I think we got it, actually. Now, final wave wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, good shout. Good shout going Bloomerang, Cam. You actually, you did something right for once. Well played. Not normally known for my for my better judgments, but I'll take that one. A small victory is a victory nonetheless. Might as well freeze this last one. I like how they always whenever he gets to like the last couple of rows, they always keep trying to prompt me to use one I do spend some money. Zap them, yeet them, freeze them up, spend money. No. 
I got this. Give me my twin sunflower. So the final level. Final level of ancient Egypt. What the hell is about to happen to me? What what is about to happen? Like honestly. I mean, let's do it. Let's see what they got in store. It's going to be Zomboss, isn't it? I'm going to have to fight Zomboss. Bowser's Castle, this is effectively. My taco tastes so close, I can smell it. You're like thousands of years away from you being able to eat it. Like, what are you talking about? Unless you're telling me you can smell thousands of years into the future. My reasoning is simple, yet beyond your comprehension. I'll face my Zombot Sphinxinator in battle. I like how it doesn't even show me it. It doesn't even preview it. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Oh, this man's got a health bar? I see. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's do that. Put that there. Make sure we're getting stuff in each lane. Very important. I'll save up the iceberg lettuce if I can. It's fine. I haven't got anything in that lane. It's cool. It's cool. No, I'm not going to use the thing. Relax. Oh, he, I just destroyed that and he spawns in. Oh, you're a dickhead. Do you know that? You're a prick. Okay, so I'm going to have to use that lawnmower. That's just wonderful. At least I get some free plant food for it, though. She let me use that real quick. Is that going to hit him? I Honestly, I don't even know if I hit him. I need to start getting stuff in these lanes, though. What happens if I do that? That's going to hit him, surely. I think it did. It might hit him. What I really need is for him to get in the line of the repeater. Just like that. There you go. Perfect. Now, nah, oh, that is perfect. Look at that. Look at that health bar go down. Do it again. He moved. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just chill. I just need you to move to an appropriate lane. Such as right there. That works. What's he doing? Bonk choy. There you go. Not keeping track of this very well. Spawning imps in now. And a gargantua. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that's just... That's just great. Iceberg, lettuce. There you go. Now, I haven't got any plant food left. Bullsack. Um, shit. I thought I made such a good play then. Everyone was telling me to use plant food on the... On the iceberg lettuce. I just need him to move to a place where the repeater can hit him. Like, right there. And then it... <sighs> Alright, lawnmower, you're gonna have to... Thank God the lawnmower just insta-kills everything, like, straight away. Okay, hang on, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm losing track here, I'm losing track, I'm losing track. I'm losing track, I need a repeater, I need plant food, I need it now. I need more plant food. Go again. That's it. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. That was... I nearly bit the dust just then. I'll tell you what. Do that and plant food him. Go. There you go. Get them hits. I'm just waiting for you to move, Zomboss. I'm just waiting for you to... That's it. Plant food. Go. Oh, 
Oh, what's he about to do? We're surviving, barely. Can I Iceberg let him? Oh, he spawned more Gargantuas in. That's wonderful. Just what I had on the menu. Um, freeze the Gargantua. I freeze the Gargantua, not the bucket head, you knobber. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I really don't want to use the thing, but you're going to make me use the thing. I've got no choice. I had no choice. I had two. I was about to lose. And I, I might still be about to lose. Is he dead? Does that... Wait, is he not dead? Yes! Oh my god! I just barely won that! And I had to use the zappy thing. <laughs> oh. This is... This is the first world. It's the first world. I barely won that. Sounds salty. I'm, I'm gonna be salty in... Oh my god. That was actually really difficult. Oh man, like how much harder is it gonna get? Cause that was that was crazy. There's no pleasure trip, your excursion will be watery and grave. Oh man, that was so stressful. I was like I was like I was tenths of a second away from losing that. God. Literally tenths of a second away. But we made it to the next world. We are finished with ancient Egypt. Finally. Uh, I don't really care about all this. Yeah, taco this, taco that, thousands of years, all that jazz. That's only like... That's considered a 2 out of 5 difficulty. What happens when we go to like... Let me find... There's got to be a 5 out of 5 one. Big Wave Beach. 5 out... What the, what the fuck happens when I get there? What happens when I get there? That was 2 out of 5! Oh no, man. But I'm going to call that there. This has been a Wolfie and Chill on PVZ2. We managed to finish Ancient Egypt. And now I've got to move on to Pirate Seas, which I'm sure is going to be equally as fun. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see me do more Wolfie and Chills on this game, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time.